very emotional and very so generous and just this morning i had yeah. someone drop off fresh fruit and vegetables from their own garden um where i live and just left it at my front door and i was like Wow. As firefighters continue to be called to action throughout the interior, the Vernon community is coming together to ensure they're well fed. We realized there was hundreds of men at these camps yeah. that all needed extra stuff, fresh fruit and vegetables. Yeah. Then we put it out there and now we have a warehouse that's full of uh, non-perishables. We have a walk-in fridge that's full of fruits and vegetables. We have most of the Elks Hall that's full of all of the other rest of the food. Yes, there is lots of help that is going out. There is just quite a few gaps and those gaps happen to fall on the forestry firefighters who aren't getting the proper nutrients, dense, rich meals. Um, so that's what we're doing here today. We have got lots of snacks. Couldn't have done this without the community. We've had so many donations. Um, Michelle and I have kind of dedicated this whole week to like bringing things out and then I'm in contact with some people in West Kelowna who have given me lists of things that the firefighters are needing and we just keep bringing it out. Yeah. We have also um, found out there's a need for fresh fruit and veggies for our own firefighters that are in our own town too. So all of the halls are gonna be um, getting some produce and vegetables by the end of today. Yeah. Um, so it's fantastic that every good buddy can share on the generosity of our amazing town. Yeah. Organizers say they'll continue to drop off food for as long as firefighters say they need it. For Castanet, I'm Chelsea Mutter in Vernon.